So Steve, my final question for you is in terms of resume, when you were in LinkedIn, when you were hiring, I'm sure thousands of people, you've seen thousands of resumes and maybe mm -hmm. you, you compare them on their LinkedIn profile. So what should be on resume? What should be on LinkedIn profile? Can they, I don't want to say the word hide, but it should be different or not. What's your take? Okay, so what's really great about LinkedIn and why I was so excited to be there in the early phase is that what it allows you to do is see the profiles of people at the company you want to work for. Yeah. So if you want to go work for a company, mm -hmm. whatever it is, you know, Royal Bank of Canada or, you know, TELUS or whatever it is, yeah. go to find people's profiles that work there in the department you want to work for and mm -hmm. see what skills do they have, what experiences mm -hmm. do they have that may be missing from what you're doing Yeah, that you can go try to fill in. Okay. So that's the first thing that I would do is say, what are the, is there, are there some themes, some experiences that I'm seeing in the profiles of people working where I want to work that are missing for me that I need to do? Yes. Okay. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, on a resume or a LinkedIn profile, if you're seeking a job, the only purpose of a resume is to get you an interview. Yes. Okay? That's the only person, the only goal of right, get you an interview. If you can get an interview some other way, do it. This is where LinkedIn comes in. I want to go work for that company. Do I know anyone there? Do mm -hmm. I know someone who knows someone there? Yeah. I, as a hiring manager, will tell you, I am much more likely to look at a resume that was given to me by someone who works there. Even if they don't know, you say, hey, this is my mother's uncle, uh, neighbor, you know, and, and they, they were a good person. I was like, okay, you know, that's more than. I'm going to get just off the internet. Like I don't know anything. Yeah. A warm introduction is so valuable. Yes. That is the best way. And if you see a LinkedIn job or an Indeed job or some other posting before you go send it, see first, do you know someone there and yeah. send it to that person and ask them, please, can you put this in the hands? As a referral. Yeah, as this a is referral. The game. What, what we're solving here, what the recruiting game is all about is trust. Mm -hmm. People want less risk and they want more trust. So the more someone's coming to me from a trusted source, the more I'm feeling more comfortable to want to look and explore. So that's why you want to do that. It's not about timing or speed or first one to apply. Mm -mm. Yeah. You know, and, and, and companies want to take as low a risk as possible whenever they hire someone. So if they're coming from someone who works there or knows someone, well, they know the culture, they know our values. They're going to refer us probably someone who fits. Right. And as a as a hiring manager yourself, when you get a resume that you are interested, do you go to their LinkedIn profile uh, to see? Sure. Of course I do. Mm -hmm. If I'm really interested, I'm going to call someone who might know them first. OK. Before I call them. Hey, I got this resume. They look really good. Did you work with them? Do you know someone who did? Can you give me some feedback? Before I go and invest my time in meeting someone, I want to do, uh, especially for an important role, yeah. I want to do what, a, what we call a backdoor reference. I'm going to go see, and in Silicon Valley, I mean, it's like one or two degree of separation, right? Yeah. Um, and when I was in Vancouver, it was like half a degree. Everyone knew everyone. So yeah. I could quickly get, you know, get, get some good intelligence. Yeah, on that, which is but really- What are you checking on LinkedIn like? their headliner, their about section, their experience. What were you checking? Well, it, it depends. You know, I'm, I'm looking, you know, what did they do? What did they do? Mm -hmm. You know, um, and, you know, what were the projects they work on uh, that were relevant for what I'm looking for, right? Yeah. I don't care how long someone stayed somewhere. I don't care anymore because so many companies are laying people off and so many people are leaving for reasons out of their control. It's not a concern to me. Yeah. Do you have substance of building what I need, the skills of, and do I see you can teach yourself new things and you've learned new things along the way? Those are great tips, Steve. And with that, my interview comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation. Very practical tip, direct to the point. And I hope the audience watching or listening will implement those tips in their job search. And again, Steve, thank you very much. Keep in touch. And for the audience, tune in next time for another great case, great guest. Bye, everyone.